Welcome to Toffee TV. The World Cup is on. It starts very soon, Baz. Oh. So we you know what we thought. Well, we sit here all day talking about Everton. Let's get stuck into the World Cup. Let's start previewing the World Cup. Because I hope. Because I get dead excited for the World Cup. I love it. Yeah. Right. You look infused by the World no, Cup. I right do, there, I Baz. Do. No, I do. I love the World Cup. I do, honestly, I do. I'm a bit disappointed the games aren't through the night. I love it, that, like a late game. Mm. I do love that. But, have you seen the first Saturday? Four, four games, innit? Said some misses. Yeah, yeah. Take right. some plans on that Saturday, Because <laughs> you ain't seeing me. Nope, I'm not moving. Four um, games. No, I, I know what you mean by that. It's a bit nocturnal, myself, <laughs> and uh, it is nice to have those games, but you know, I'd rather have the games at night, later at night than in the day. Mm. But but so be it. That's the way it is. is That's just what it is. You know what I mean. Well, no, it's a bit late to change it now. Yeah, and if they is. wanted reasons to it not be in Russia, <laughs> that wouldn't have been one. Oh. There was a few other ones. Mm. Like hard drives that got smashed up. Um, yeah. But there you go. Group A is where we start. Yeah. Russia versus Saudi Arabia is the first game. June the fourteenth yeah. on a Thursday. Um, it's. I mean, it sounds like a game for the ages. But what I love about you know what the World Cup sometimes it's like it's like anything else, isn't it? You put a game on it, it could be like Saudi Arabia versus Russia, let's yeah. just say, uh, and it ends up being a boss watch because yeah. it's that's the World Cup. It's the World Cup. You'll watch anything. You will. Won't you? People and you've never heard of suddenly become absolute worldies and names. you know household names, even if it's for a couple of weeks. And oh, it's great. Just get you going. It's great, it is, it is, because it's it's just it's a, a shift away from the club focus, isn't it? And it's and just watch football and you know, I mean, it, I think for the likes of us, you still link back to when you were a kid, because yes, you, you didn't you see those players that now, now you can see players no, Champions League and but everything else. And you, you still get still, surprises. You do. No, you, you still do. get surprises, and this could be a group. That creates some of the surprises. Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. Not necessarily a great, great group on paper. And actually, for all four teams, what, what a, what a group to be in. Because mm -hmm. I would say all four teams could get out of this group if the, if, if things fall their way. Russia are the hosts, obviously. A mm -hmm. lot of pressure, a lot of political pressure on them at the moment. They want this this World Cup to run as smoothly as possible. Mm. A lot of people talk about things like hooliganism and all that. I don't think there's going to be any problems because I don't think it'll be allowed. I think the main man will uh, mis make sure you know Mr. Putin. Mm. I think he'll make sure there ain't no hooliganism. So it's a showcase for yeah, because it's because do you know what? Because with everything that's going on in the world, Russia have a, a, a fantastic opportunity to say this is what we're all about mm. and I think he'll make sure that it runs smoothly without and it, I've seen different ways that he might be making it run smoothly um, like he did in the um, the uh, the Olympics a couple mm. of years ago he made sure that runs smoothly so <laughs> I think he'll make it run smoothly Russia themselves they're not blessed with household names this time mm. um, I think what is, is it what was it 21, 21 of not the 23 20. players play in Russia mm -hmm. now I know in the last few years the Russian league's become um, the, the finances have gone up a little bit but you would expect that any decent team in 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 the World Cup to have players scattered about and in a few big teams but Russia don't have it but then someone could say now and see and go well Name me English players. I knew you were going to say that. Who play somewhere else? So I understand what you're saying. There's not as there's not as many household. Oh, Martinez, Graham Jones, it was, yeah, you step, step piece. You know, um, <laughs> you know, there's not as many Russian players that that are household names now. Um, obviously, Alan Dragoff, I think you say his name. He's been linked with Everton a couple of times. Certainly, when Martinez was here, he was a, a very exciting young player. Plays for CSK. Where's Billy? Uh, CSK, I don't know. Billy's, this should have been Billy's moment. Um, but, you know, just because you, you, you know, they're not household names doesn't mean they're not going to be a good side. The host nation, we saw it with South Korea in, you know, so you get to the semi finals when they were hosting it. That host nation can be carried forward, you know, we've seen 
France obviously got to the the or I know I'm not comparing Russia with France, but I mean that thing, the momentum. England in '96, we got to the. What, the what actually might galvanise them is the fact that most of them are at home mm. and have been able to take it all in. Yeah, yeah. The excitement as it approaches yeah. and really, really take that on board and. Um, with you know this each other's games a little bit better because they play in the same league and yeah stuff, see so. each other regularly mm. and stuff like that and no big egos and with this group yeah. as well uh, you know Uruguay would be the one that you would expect to win the group mm. but for me that second place since something happened in the Champions League that might have blown it a little you know wide open do you think you know with that with, with the injury well you know at the end of the day I mean Saudi Arabia they've got they've got three players who play in Spain and all the rest of them in Saudi Arabia so therefore you they're the weakest I would on paper on paper they're they the weakest the now weakest. they're the weakest because their league is the weakest but again mm. it's almost like the Ru- the Russian thing they, th- this might be a group of players that have played together for a while so know each other's games mm. um, that might help them but when they go against harder teams I think they're going to struggle um, especially with the standard of the league but as I say Egypt for me Egypt two weeks ago everyone was like oh these could be like a dark horse for the semi-finals or whatever because I think I think they are the strongest team in Africa and with Salah they had an X-Factor player they had a player who was you know, absolutely, just smashing it. Mm. Ab- I mean, no matter what you say about about Salah or what you want, he has had an absolutely phenomenal season. Yeah, and then fantastic. when it came, but it came down to that Champions League, and all ground to a halt. I mean, he's been free of injury all season, pretty much. He's been he's been absolutely flying. But it looked the trajectory was perfect for the World mm. Cup, absolutely perfect for the World Cup, and, and that's what led a lot of people to think. We don't want it, Egypt. We don't want to get him because he's got such an X factor that on any given day, his he ha- the he's so good mm. that he could he, he could hurt us. But obviously, with the injury, now he's he's, he's going the World Cup. There's obviously that's he's been named in the squad. He's been named he's been in the squad. It. So he might miss the first game. Let's just say, let's say he missed the first game. I don't think he's arriving. With the rest of the group till the ninth, till yeah, till 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 uh, they play on on the Friday, don't mm. they? So, um, so he misses that game against Uruguay. I suppose if you wanted them to miss one game, that might be the game you'd want them to miss. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, because, because obviously Uruguay, you'd expect to win that game. Um, yeah, Uruguay would expect to you'd win. You'd expect that game. to win it, and therefore. Egypt are what capable of getting four points at least than the other two. You know, capable of getting the draw off Russia if Salah's fit, capable of beating Saudi. So yeah, I get it. But I think he'll play. I think he'll play think? even if it's an injection. It's a but, shoulder but, but, sprain. Yeah, but, no, it's not. It was. It was. They said it isn't hasn't been dislocated. If no, I know it. I know it hasn't been dislocated. But what I'm saying is that the, the, he's such a fast player mm. that he uses his arms, and that was. C- Clearly, why he he couldn't mm. carry on in the in the game, you know. He obviously uh, there might have been like muscle yeah, fibers that, yeah. that have been pulled, haven't he? If he's in if he, if he's in a lot of pain, like a serious lot of pain, would, would well, he's not going to be wrist, is he? That's what I'm saying. But if he's if it's like that, he could have some injections. And I'm not. I don't want to cast any aspersions on the Uruguayans, <laughs> right? But but they do. They're clever. They've they've been known to be quite clever over the mm-hmm. years in the way they go about football matches mm-hmm. and playing them. Well, and maybe the diff- and the different tricks they will they will take. Well, maybe Egypt might leave them out for that one. And I imagine if there's any nation that might just target that arm, <laughs> it might be Uruguay because they're just very clever. I'm they not to win. But they've got some good players anyway, Egypt. You know, it's only when you say them out like you forget about it and go, well, you know, they've got. Uh, Hexy, Hexy, who's at West Brom, the big tall mm. centre half. They've got El Nenny, who's yeah. at Arsenal, who's decent. Treasure Gay, um, who Everton have been linked with, the winger, is very good. Uh, Sobby, who's moving from Stoke to. They've got about six or seven mm. English based players, yeah, haven't they? Either? El, El Hal, 
in Alamandi Pre- plays played for in the Premier League. Like he played in the Premier League. Played or Elna, he played yeah. in a whole. They've got a lot of English based players. Therefore, mm-hmm. they've got players who who are who are uh, off, you know just up to the English game, which which. Mm-hmm. Because I, I can it's. I mean, I know the days of Eva Ham either gone. It's 2018, but I still think we think a lot of these countries are soft touches. Mm. Whereas I bet you if you'd watched Egypt and the conditions they played in, in some of those group games, yeah, and, and yeah. especially that last game when the uh, Salah scored the penalty Salah in the last scored, minute, yeah. you know they they these are tough these are tough lads mm. these are tough lads and um, playing in England would have helped will have helped helped the development of the football. So mm. I I think for, I think Egypt. I think Egypt will, will be be interesting in the scoop. I mean, Uruguay, of course, they've got Suarez up front. This is going to be. This is going to be. Do you think this will be peak peak Suarez? Yeah, because what is he thirty now? Yeah. This, this, this is his moment, isn't it? This is his moment. So it's a shy. Might even be thirty-one actually. Mm. So this is his, probably going to be his last World Cup. Depending on. If he keeps himself fit, obviously, he may, but it's his, his last, last one world, his last World Cup. How that ended, and the World Cup before, you know, World Cup before, Ghana, off. and balling the ball on the on the line. Last World, last world Cup, Cup sent off by Cellini. Cellini. So, so obviously he's, he's got gonna, an opportunity in this World Cup yeah. to to just show what he's all about. Because when he just plays his football, he's a fantastic. Center, Your, so. Uruguay are an amazing. Well, he got Cavani. As well, he's up there with them. Uruguay in an absolutely amazing country. Yeah. I think they've got a population smaller than London. Yeah, yeah. They've got one major city. Smaller, yeah. One major city. And th- the players they produce, I mean, mm. Suarez, Cavani, um, Jimenez, um, Godlin. Golden, Golden, oh, Golden um, is Madrid. Oh, yeah. I'm one of the best defenders in the world yeah. by a mile. Golden is um, absolutely just, brilliant. just. I mean, there's there's four players mm. that would grace a lot of sides, and that's mm. coming from a country, you know. That, that, but it does feel like this is almost like the last, the last of the golden generation. Mm. Before they had Forland in the last one. Yeah, Forland's gone, he's now. gone he's, now. He's he's he's, uh, he's gone. Like he was like he was in wasn't he in the team of the tournament two, two, two in, ago in yeah. Africa he was amazing in South, South Africa, Africa. South Africa. Brilliant. Um, but no, you're right they've, they've, they've come and, they're coming to the end of that cycle it'll be Cavani's last one as well he's 30 so it'll be his last World Cup you would think or certainly the last World Cup when maybe he's at his yeah. the peak of his powers um, so you know you look at them and you think they should get you know they should get through I mean last time out they beat England didn't they um, Suarez scored yeah. They beat England two one and got out the group mm. um, with Italy. So, you know they're, they're a tough nation. They've always been a tough nation. They're a tough nation with ability at the mm. top end of the pitch in Suarez. It's been interesting, actually, though, because I think in the last couple of years there was no weight of expectation on them. Mm. Um, you know, and I think in this group they're clearly the the favourites to go to through. So that'll through, be yeah. interesting whether that weighs on them at all as mm. well. Um, they've got Gomez. They've got. Um, Terreira as well, who's faced mm. the Sampdoria, who's Everton. linked with Everton um, over a week. So they've got good footballers, mm. you know, and they know the way around that pitch and they tough, know how to win. Tough, tough as well, yeah. good defenders. That's what I meant. So be in, they'll be a very interesting team because, as you just said, Cavani, Suarez are two of the best strikers in the world. Mm. Um, Both had really good seasons, yeah. scored a lot of goals between them. So Cavani arguably might have had a better season than Suarez well, he, yeah he probably has Suarez well, Suarez, Suarez dried, I don't know he just he dried up a little bit he still had 20 odd goals oh yeah well, I mean it's Basel right? Cavani he had 30 goals. didn't he I think or something yeah. I mean that's different because it's playing in PSG yeah. but but um, yeah I mean it's the last big one but they, they, this represents a chance for them to I don't know because this World Cup I can't put a favourite on it Germany see but that, that's interesting and I, I understand why you say that but at the same time I, I understand why they're the favourites but I, I can't I wouldn't go oh, they'll they're, 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 you know they'll absolutely There's win There's Germany it. Brazil because it's Brazil because it's Brazil yeah. but without Neymar I don't think they're anything special I don't know for me that was brilliant Coutinho stacking for them Scores goals, though. Gabriel has used to that game. I know, but, he's but it's whether they. We're not talking about Brazil anyway. No, I was just saying about the yeah. tournament. So I was saying Germany, Brazil. You can't rule 
spying out because they no and actually they they one that no they, one is looking at really no. everyone's like yeah but Belgium have got well yeah let's players. let's not so you don't know but Uruguay could definitely get to quarterfinals mm. and then you when you've got Suarez and and Cavani up front yeah you've got you've got who do you think's going to get out the group I think Uruguay will win the group I do and then I think it's between Russia and Egypt and I it's, it's it's really tough because I think Russia with the because they're the host nation. Mm. If they say they were to just draw with Saudi Arabia, right. massive pressure on them then to get out of it. Got I it. think Salah's key for Egypt because he's the he's the one that puts the ball in the back of the net. Basically, mm. like I said, Trezeguet's really good. He's the one to look out for. Um, Sobby is hit a bit hit and miss, uh, or he certainly was at Stoke. But they've got players. I I would I'm. I'm gonna say Uruguay and Egypt. I think Uruguay and Egypt, and I think I think what will happen is I think um, Uruguay will will I think they'll get uh, two wins and a draw. I think Egypt will get out the group because I think even without Salah, I think they've got a good side. I think they've got players who know how to uh, get results, mm. and I think Salah will come in the last couple of games, or maybe a game and a half even, mm. and just they'll they'll do enough. I think. I think Russia will bomb. I think. I think they'll. I think they'll be really. This. I think the. I. I think the pressure might just be too much for them. Um, oh, imagine they finish fourth. Oh my god. No, they they'll finish. They've got big coats. I think. Because <laughs> the goals are Siberia. I think the yeah. I can see Egypt getting. Four, maybe five points. I think it's all on that first game. For Egypt? No, for, for, oh, for, for Russia. The, for the whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> no, for that group. Yeah. I think it I think if Russia I think if Russia don't pick up three points in that first game They're in trouble. They're in trouble. Mm. Because they've got to get they've got to get off to a good start to get the belief of the people behind and them the momentum. and the momentum do you subscribe to the fact that the host nation has to have a good World Cup for it to be a good World Cup no no o- only 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 that only applies if you are the home nation do you know what I mean mm. if you are looking through the eyes of someone yeah. you can you'll go was that a good World Cup well, what did what mm. did we do no, I mean for like the, for the crowds and no. stuff the crowds will turn up no matter what yeah. and if they don't he'll bust them in the crowd tickets are already sold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm just tickets are already sold. For interest and, and you, need, for keeping. you need like a big lanyard with a big thing on your face and everything. There's no messing about with this world cup. He's got mm. it boxed off. Yeah, yeah. No matter what anyone thinks of that man, he knows how to do PR mm. and he'll get it right. This time more than any other time. He's gonna find a way. He's gonna find a way to get away. He's find a way to get away. This, this time. time more than any other. Mm. I think he'll get it He's right. Gonna do it right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, the eleven. That is that is that is Group A. Um, I mean, I so we're going we're going for Egypt and Europe. Yeah, it wasn't to it wasn't up the up the stats heavy for the but teams, we don't want that, but we don't want that. This is a laid back conversation mm. amongst friends of no what's going to happen in the World Cup. Yeah. You want that? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Tell us something we don't know about these teams. If you are from any of these countries, which you know what you might be, because you might have just seen this video and gone, "Who are these idiots?" Um, let us know your thoughts, and we're going to be doing this for the entire World Cup. By the way, we're going to do previews for every group, and uh, we're going to be doing reactions not not to every single game, obviously, no. but we'll be doing we'll be doing them uh, every day. Every day. Oh, past us now. Uh, we'll be doing a World Cup daily every every day, Baz. Every day. It's not an issue, mate. It's not an issue. That's what we do now. We're here. We're here, ready to do it. Ready to go. Ready to might do some, uh, we'll might do some live stuff. Do some live stuff as well when the games are on. Some watch alongs for the games as well. Maybe. Not for these ones though, because I'm an already. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, give us your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. You don't you don't just have to be an Everton fan. You can be a lover of football. Because that's what we are. Mm. Lovers of football. Good job I added the football yeah um, yes. especially, for, especially for Russian viewers uh, 
there you have it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.